Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. This might be probably my last day here at the Villa Medellin in Nyabohanse, whereby we've been documenting a very, very impressive series about the hidden treasures of Nyabohanse. And uh, this is where I am Marwa decided to settle. He decided to buy this piece of land. And not only to buy this amazing piece of land, but also he decided to build this amazing Villa Medellin. Villa, Villa Medellin. As Rocio had told me in my last video that if you, if not, if you have not watched the video I did with Rocio, the girlfriend to uh, Marwa, she had told me in the last video that it's supposed to be Villa Medellin. You know, Spanish people, you know, Argentinian people, Fila Medellin, Fila Medellin, Filia Medellin, Estos Ranos, Anotos, Estos Anotos, so Estos Fila Medellin. And uh, that's now how it, is, it should be pronounced. And uh, Marwa has been doing this courtesy of YouTube. And right about now, you know, there's the other side of life, the human side of life and the domestic side of life. So, because we are humans and uh, animals, wild animals, domestic animals. So, what animals does Marwa keep on his farm? What animals does Marwa keep on his farm? Or here at Filia Medellin, Estos Medellin. We want to start this episode by uh, showing you the types of animals Marwa keeps. The famous one I know is Mbosi Amboka. Mbosi Amboka is a very, very famous dog here in the village. Famous even than me, Mbosi Amboka. But one day I'll be more famous than Mbosi Amboka. So here I'm just watching the river. The river, they say this is River YouTube flowing from all the way to down there, River YouTube. And I think Uncle Mo resides somewhere there, Uncle Mo. And this is another extension of our neighborhood with these beautiful, beautiful trees. At Filia, may, may the gene, Filia, may the gene. So, at this point, what are we doing here? At this point, in the last, last previous, previous episode, for those who have been watching or following my journey, we had a very, very interactive se session with uh, the one and only uh, Farmer Isa. And Farmer Isa actually had told us about the type of plants he plants at the garden. Farmer Isa had told us the uh, type of plants he plants in the garden here at Filia Medellin. And uh, it was quite an interactive session. I learned a lot about agriculture and farming. I used to be passionate about agriculture, but right now my passions have changed. I love business more, I love travels, I love studies, but not uh, of agriculture so big up farmer isa on the kitchen garden uh, i'll walk up to there so that i show you guys the kitchen garden so as you are building up this video so plants animals either domestic wild animals fish are part of the things that are, are here or maybe we say aquaculture. So for the part of the plants, a lot have been happening because during the party, this was the kitchen where the party was hoisted. The kitchen, some water tank, uh, a water tank here, another water tank here. And let me just walk through this kitchen so that you see what's happening. It's another tank. 
this was normally because there was a one month party and I'm glad I, I'm doing the after party shots or vlogs. This was where the main action was, where people were feeding. And this kitchen fed 2,000 people. You can see these birds. These are part of the birds and uh, Marwa keeps um, <laughs> disturbing their peace but uh, I think they'll be safe. So this is to show you the types of animals uh, that are here at Villa Mehejin or Estos Mehejin, Estos Ranos. So this video, I want to appreciate everything, uh, every animal, because so much of the animals were I'll be showing you this, I'll be showing you this, but I want to show you briefly the kitchen garden at the Filia Rosa Medellin, the kitchen garden. So this was the kitchen garden, courtesy of Fama Isa, and Fama Isa was able to bring this idea to Ayamarwa and uh, Luckily, Amarua liked the idea and uh, he gave uh, space for Fama Isa to exercise his expertise. And uh, we can see Fama Isa has done an amazing job. Maybe this could be... Some crops have been depleted partly because of the party. But uh, this was Fama Isa's idea. Without Fama Isa, this place could be just a piece of grown grass. Maybe it could be like that. But Fama Isa made it possible to turn this place from that to what you're seeing here. And actually, he taught us so many things. And uh, this video starts here at Villa Medellin, Medellin Kitchen Garden. This is from Isa and the sponsor I am Maru. So, just to build up what we have here, some sunflowers, uh, onions, tomatoes, broccoli, peanuts, zucchini, kales, maize, and so much. And this is just here where the clay bath was over there and that's the changing of the clay bath so the clay bath was this one the clay bath. and we did an amazing amazing video about the clay bath and the children so what animals <laughs> what animals even insects does I am Marwa keep on his farm. What animals that does uh, Marwa keep on his farm? So I can see it's underscore Gintu over there. It's underscore Gintu. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm very good, bro. What's how they going? Uh, everything is smart. Uh huh. Uh, you can see how I am. I, uh, I, uh, oh, some water, water. You went into the pool. Yeah, I was now doing uh, maintenance practices, which uh -huh. is just cleaning some water. Mm -hmm. So as uh, we know now, we have uh, some breeds there. Yeah. So okay. we should have high maintenance. Yeah. And to that point, so mm -hmm. as uh, we don't uh, suffocate them or uh, get some any miscellaneous effect to those fish. Okay. So I was just doing some uh, thorough cleanness. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I opened for clean water okay. to just uh, enter the two ponds. Okay. Okay. So as uh, by tomorrow, uh -huh. uh, my boss, uh -huh. Ayamaro, uh -huh. has now uh, tenderized uh -huh. another guy to uh -huh. bring some stones uh -huh. who are now going to be so fast. Uh -huh. uh, it's a big company that has uh, so like uh, five rollies. Okay. So they are just going to come uh, uh -huh. as a heap. Uh. Okay. So it's just uh, five rollies we need uh -huh. of uh, the 
uh, soft mining soft stones, stones. Okay. the mining soft stones, uh -huh. which are just blue. Uh -huh. So as uh, we compact them to the bottom of the pond, so okay. as uh, everything now goes clear. So, so that it gives the pond a smooth base. A smooth base. Okay. And uh, to uh, just uh, get that clear water into okay. that pond. Yeah. yeah. You know, actually, you've come at a point whereby I'm finishing my stay here at Villa Medellin. Oh, and amongst, uh, maybe this could be the last day, maybe they need me to be around, it's okay. Yeah. I can extend for two more days. But if they need me around, it should be awesome. So I'm finishing my series about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhanse. Nyabuhanse. And uh, right now, um, because we did a documentary about the kitchen the garden. Farmer? Yeah, the farmer Isa. Yeah. Right now I'm doing a documentary of what animals does Ayamarua keep here at oh, okay, Villa Medellin. Okay, okay. And uh, they are there now. Yeah. I have saw them. Yeah. Uh, we have some goats. Yeah. We have pigeons. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, some uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, we call cows. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the the small ones, what are they called? The guinea fowl. Uh, the, the the guinea? Guinea fowl. Kanga. Uh, yeah, kanga. Guinea ones. fowl. Yeah. Yeah, guinea fowl. Those are the, the, the uh, those are the poultry now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have some rabbits. Yeah. Uh, also some rabbits. You saw some rabbits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are some rabbits. Okay. There. And some fish. Uh, yeah, and some fish. Yeah. And guys, if you watch our previous episode, yeah. it's underscore going to show us about how he installed the fish pond how he brought the idea, how he met uh, Marwa. And behind there is his farm, fish farm. And uh, he had a very good time to educate us about yeah. the fish. Yeah. So we want to see now what, what are the animals that uh, Marwa keep here. I can see some beehives. Yeah. Do they have yeah, bees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're there. Yeah. They're there. Behind, I can, they're yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the way. Uh -huh. uh, we have some frogs here. Even frogs? Yeah, <laughs> they're there at the Oh. Pond. Yeah, they should. Because and they have to be there. We want to see all the animals uh, Marwa keeps But here. Uh, the frogs, we not see them uh, visibly. Yeah. Because they're onto the, uh, we call it uh, onto the ponds. Yeah. So they're uh, at the base now. Yeah. You cannot yeah. see them. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they're there. They yeah. must be there. Maybe, I don't know, does Rosho eat frogs? Okay. Because. People have know. different cultures. Yeah. In China, I, I ate a frog and it's very sweet. Have you told me about that? Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering, maybe in future, people could have a diverse food foodstuffs here. Maybe. So maybe. frog yeah. will be uh, maybe part yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's uh, everything that's just taking place here, mm -hmm. and uh, everything is just analyzed good. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow is the uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas and yeah. uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. So. But I'm just still here, mm -hmm. even the Christmas, mm -hmm. they have to be fed, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I have to maintain everything to look uh, in a clear condense, yeah. so as everything goes clear. Awesome, so I'll awesome. be here mm -hmm. day to day. Okay. So I want to talk to you backyard okay. from the camera, okay. so maybe you'll just have a pause. Okay, so yeah. let me pause this and then we'll be right back yeah. after the break. Yeah. Okay. That's actually, it's underscore going to, uh, we've had a chit chat and we proceed so guys welcome back this is an auto in china and uh, we are here at farmer isa's kitchen garden here at villa medellin and we're doing some documentaries about the types of animals uh, maro keeps so over here we have cr7 cr7 the gods of the gods CR7, we have Cristiano Ronaldo, the goat, and it reminds me, we have another goat. Let me show you another goat. This is CR7, or Ayamarwa, the goats of the goat, CR7. Let's draw some attention. The goat CR7 and also Ayamarwa, this, the goat. The gods of the gods, CR7. You can see the beards, you can see the horns, you can see the eyes, very confident. CR7, the gods, the gods, the gods. <laughs> so those are the super, super gods. There's another god I want you to see here at I am Marwa. What is this god doing at I am Marwa's? kitchen garden. I hope it's still there. There's another goat. I don't know. Let's see. Another goat here at Amarwa's villa. Another goat. Another goat. 
there was another goat somewhere there. So I've shown you my goat here at uh, Marwa's Villa. Cristiano Ronaldo CR7. My goat. I want to show you another goat. Another goat. <laughs> but I hope it's there. <laughs> so guys, you have seen my goat. CR7. I am Marwa. And uh, who else? Kipchoge Keino. Who else? Victor Wanyama. Olunga. Those are my gods. But what is this other god? Very mediocre god. The god of FIFA. The sympathy god. What is this god doing at uh, Marwa Villa? Look. We have another god. Here at Villa Medellin. We have another goat, a mediocre goat here. What is this goat doing at Villa Medellin? What is this goat? What is Messi doing at Amaro Villa? What is this goat doing here at Amaro with this bag? The goat here at Villa Rosia, no, at Villa Medellin. This is another goat. Another animal, but a mediocre goat here. That's not my goat. Another goat, very mediocre. The goat of FIFA doing here. The favored boy. That is not my goat. And we are talking about the types of animals that are kept here at Villa Medellin. And we are worried why this other mediocre goat the cause that won the World Cup doing here at uh, Marwa's farm. But anyway, because uh, Marwa's girlfriend is from Argentina, maybe we have the other goat from Argentina wanting to take over the Villa Medellin. So we have two Argentinians here at Villa Tosa, Villa Medellin, Villa Medellin. But ladies and gentlemen, those are my two proper gods. The gods Cristiano Ronaldo, Marwa, Olunga, Wanyama. These are so there are actually three gods. Most of, most of the gods were slaughtered during the party. But these are some remnants of the god. It's a small one. And also we have a sheep here. We have a sheep. This is the ship here. And then we also have birds. We have some doves here. They are fending for themselves. We have some beautiful doves. And they are eating. There are so many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 doves here at Villa Medellin. When I was young, I used to keep these ones. And uh, I've never eaten this. I've never, never, never eaten these uh, doves. And uh, when I was young, we used to keep it. So let me tell you a brief, a brief story about uh, my story with the doves. Or oh, is it doves or pigeon? When I was young, we used to keep them and we used to sell but if you came with the notion that you want to kill them for food i won't sell it for you but if you told me you are buying to keep a space i would give you and i will be happy because i've never never uh, eaten it i've never eaten the uh, doves or the pigeon and also i've never eaten uh, the rabbit you can see simba a dog simba or, or is it Mbosiamboka? There's a dog now. Mbosiamboka! Is it Mbosiamboka? Guys, is this Mbosiamboka? It's another goat here. But is, is that Mbosiamboka? I don't know. 
I don't know, I don't know. And also here we also have the beehive. The beehive over there. There's the beehive, as you can see. The beehive. I don't know if you could have a proper view of it. In Kenya, this we could call the Kenya Top Beehive, KTBH. We used to learn in agriculture, the beehive. Let's see. Let me risk to give you a better. I don't want to disturb them. That is the beehive and with the beehive also there was a beehive of activities happening here during the party a beehive of activities happen here during the party and that's uh, just to show you what animals are kept here at Amaru's villa and there's also another beehive over there another beehive and uh, we've been told that there are also frogs. So I want to see the frogs. Let me see if I can see a frog. There's some frogs down here. Some frogs here at uh, Marwa Villa. Let's see if we can see a frog. There's a frog here. Ah, there's a frog. Now we can see them here. So a spider, a spider here. This is a spider. And uh, I'm giving you better angles, courtesy of this beautiful camera, the DJI Action 4. Let me show you my perspective. So this is me looking at the spider and also looking at the frogs. This is my perspective of the DJI. With DJI, the action never stops. So, we just uh, knowing the types of animals that are kept here at Villa Medellin. And also there's another beehive over there. This one does not have any bees yet. Maybe they don't have the queen bee. But I'm sure sooner or later the scouts will come and Locate this behind. So let me show you. This is it. Another behind. So far, I've seen two beehives. Maybe there could be one more there, but I don't know. And you have also seen the frogs. So moving forward as we wind up we will finish this video at the pond where the fish are so that we show you the types of animals that are kept here at Villa Rosia at Villa Medellin let's see we are moving up there finishing with this part here at Villa Medellin to show you the types of animals there are cows but maybe the cows are grazing. So let's see on this other end. So we have some chicken, the cock and the hen. The chicken. And 
have a dog, more chicken. And actually, what are you doing over there? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Unafaya nini? Oh, he's looking at the yeah. uh, rabbit. Rabbit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where do you want to go? I'm asking Nazipa if... Nazipa food. Give them food? Yeah. So, what is your name? My name is Magabu. Magabu. What uh, do you do here? Unafaya nini yo apa kwa marua? Oh. Eh. Nafanya kazi ya kulisha sungura. Oh, he does the work of feeding the rabbit. Yeah. Eh. Uh -huh. Yo peke sungura peke yake? And the uh, toilet. Oh, taking care of the toilet. Yeah. So, uh, wo unapea sungura chakula gadi? What food kila, do you give? Kila the... ina... Ugali. Uh -huh. Ugali. <laughs> and then? Uh, those uh, weeds, like yeah. this one? Yeah. Yeah. And how many how many rabbits? Sungurangapi zikwapi, how many rabbits are here? Around 10. Around 10? Yeah. 10 rabbits? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Where did uh, Amaro get these rabbits from? Alipata hizi sungura wapi? Yani alinunua. Oh alinunua. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sasa anazikula, does he eat them? No, yeye anaziona tu kama mabwa lakini wengine wanazikula. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he, he just see them, uh, keep them as pet, but yeah. others uh, eat them. Hata mimi nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa najiweka kama pets. Sijawahi kula sungura. Zinakuliwa. Yeah. I'm saying even me uh, just like Marwa when I was young I didn't used to eat the rabbits. I just want to see them and be happy. Yeah. yeah. Na kanga nani analisha? Who feeds the guinea for? Kanga. Hmm. Kanga. Yeah, I'm a soldier. Oh, soldier. Yeah. Okay. Wacha tu onyeshe. Uh, let's show you the Wacha tu onyeshe sungura ku karibu. Sungura. These are the rabbits. Very beautiful. Marwa the farmer. Yeah. Let me follow them inside. Oh. So here I can have access to that. And the other one is drinking water. We have baby rabbits also. Let me show you the baby rabbits. This one is eating Resting. Who are Meshiba? I'm a school. Who is Mama? Yeah, our daughter. The mom. Who is the mom? Yeah. Mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now uh, the father. The father. Uh, he wants to show us the father, the yeah. male. The father. Yeah. yeah. Oh, over there. <laughs> Oh, that one. This one is a female one. This one, resting. You can see. Now, can I see the? And it's Kanga. Yeah, funga up a close here, so I want to show you the guinea fall. Yeah. So, also, uh, we have another uh, hen, cock. So, I want to show you another animal a mother keeps here at the farm. Here we have the, we have the doves. So, this is the place. 
so let's see the animal. Hey, hey, be careful. So guys, we are inside the. Uh, how can I call this? Nyumba ya kuku, the house of the kuku pia na kab. Nyumba, the house, not chicken. The house of the doves or the pigeon. Tell us which are these doves or pigeon, and also you can see the beautiful guinea fowl. This looks like the are these helmeted or vulturine guinea fowl, and you can see that white one, the albino guinea fowl. Also, that one. We have more. You can see the doves. The doves. This is beautiful. And that one. Here you can see. And they actually fly. Right? What you will find in the end of the ship fly the end, the seburuk at the end. Or is it in the buruk at the end? Oh, so this one they fly like the eagle. So, is it okay for Gulia to take that rock? Okay. So, but. This is just to show you I am Marwa, the farmer. So let's go out. I'm Marwa the farmer. I'm Marwa the farmer. This one. Oh. Okay. So Marwa is saying this one may be sick. They need to be. Yeah. The legs, there are some tiny drops. Yeah. I'm actually doing a documentary about Marwa the farmer. Which type of animals does uh, Marwa keep here? Yeah, but you know, I don't keep rabbits. Yeah. But somebody brought them, so now I keep them. Okay. Yes. And you have quite a lot from the bees. Even we have some frogs on the pond over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, actually, Chinese eat frogs. Yeah, I, 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 I ate a frog in China. It yeah, was so yeah. sweet, just like fish. It's like fish. Yeah. yeah. People. Yeah. But personally, I don't eat frogs. Why? But my ex-girlfriend used to really admire frogs. She wanted to take them to his parents. It's very sweet. Next time, try. Can I take a thumbnail? Okay, take a thumbnail. Okay. Uh, do you know how to take? Who knows how to take? Okay. Let's check a thumbnail. And thank you, Amarua, for this opportunity. All, all the way from China to Kenya. All right. Yeah, yeah it means a lot. Actually, you being in China, you can build a huge YouTube channel, you know? Yeah. Now that I have... Concentrate for this first. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you have yeah, strong I, man. I have to teach you how to do this. Okay, okay. So, no, 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 it's okay. Okay. So your hand right there. Okay. And my hand right there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Amarwa. Okay. Uh, a strong man junior. The strong channel is coming really. soon. Thank coming you so much. Soon. I really appreciate. Uh, I hope we meet. I'll, can I take your number so that when I'm in China we can communicate? Uh, that one I'm not sure. Okay, but Instagram. Yeah, let me film her. Video. Okay, thank you so much. So actually, let us finish about the Amarwa, the farmer documentary. We want. So we finish uh, with the animals. So actually, Amaro just came to this video and uh, he will give us very, very many tips of how to uh, the animals that we keep. And the Githiriba is just coming and let me hijack them. Say hi, Githiriba and uh, Masubo. Hello, hello family. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to this amazing channel. Mm -hmm. My name is Yamasubo. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we are just coming live here from Villa Medellin. Mm -hmm. And if you're first time watching this video, kindly mm -hmm. subscribe, subscribe, leave a suitable comment okay. and encouragement comment. Mm -hmm. And guys, yeah. watch till the end. Okay, how yeah. about you? 
guys guys kitriba here mm -hmm. i am live from villa medjin mm -hmm. welcome back to anoto in china anoto in china yes my name is Kitriba. Go check out our YouTube channel. Uh -huh. Let's go to subscribe. Go oh. to share to your, your friends okay. and uh, family. Mm -hmm. Road to success. And I don't forget my brother here. Mm -hmm. Ano? Anoto in China. Anoto. In China. Anoto. Yes. In China. Yes. Don't forget my brother. And we're doing an interview right now. Okay. With you. No problem. So let me finish this video. Okay. I'm doing a documentary of the types of animals that are here at. Um, Marwa Villa, Villa Medellin. Okay. So you have been here for a long time. What animals have you seen here? Uh, this animal. Yeah, which animals? Uh, animals, goat. Mm -hmm. Goat. Cow. Cow. Uh, sheep. Sheep. Yeah. yeah. Goat, cow, sheep. Yeah. yeah. Meona, so, Gitiriba, uh, I've seen, Gitiriba has seen goats, cow, and sheep. But yeah. for me, I've seen uh, what have I seen? I've seen the uh, doves. Da? Oh, doves. Njiwa. Njiwa is animals. Ndiyo, yeah, it's an animal. Oh. Yeah, Njiwa is the bird. The bird. Oh, oh, yeah, Njiwa. Yeah, by the way. Njiwa, the bird. Is yeah. it dove or pigeon? Now, okay. I don't know about that. I've seen also, you know, Kanga. Kanga. Yeah, yeah. Know. Kanga is guinea. Frog. Oh, and the rabbit. And the rabbit. Yeah, yeah. I forget uh, rabbit. Yeah. Right. I've also seen the frog. And what what else have I seen? The bees, bees. Yeah, cow. But cow is grazing out. Yeah, yeah. Cow. And what else? What else have we seen? Chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let me finish, and then I come back to you. Okay. Yes. Okay. And fish. So, uh, so, so, what else do we have here? What we else do we fish. have? Yeah. Okay. You have turtles. Mm -hmm. Turtles are there. Yeah. They are there in the pond. Actually, you have turtles. We are going to see that. Maybe we'll they're, have. They're there. They're there. They're, I think there are two. Turtles. Okay. In the pond. Okay. We have rabbits. Mm -hmm. We have chickens here. Mm -hmm. Chicks there. Okay. What do you call it? Guinea falls. Guinea falls. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a lot, a lot of animals. It seems Marwa is a very serious yeah. farmer because yeah. we have everything. Maybe. Marwa is a good farmer. Yeah. We are very serious one. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Does he eat the kanga, the guinea fowl? Yeah, it is eaten. Uh, has Maru ever eaten the guinea fowl? So this one here, yes. we, have, we haven't swallowed him. For rarity. Oh, for rarity, just for fun? Yeah, for fun. Ornamentals? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's a serious problem. I'm loving the collection of animals that he has. And yeah, that's good. Yeah. He's a very serious one. Yeah. He's very keen, always okay. checking on them, mm -hmm. the birds. Like we were checking on a, 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 a dove or a pigeon. Is it, is it dove or pigeon? Yeah, it's a pigeon. Right? Yeah, pigeon, yeah, yeah, maybe it's a pigeon. Yeah. So we were checking maybe a sick one over there just to see if they can be attend to it. Yeah, and uh, Marwa just wanted them to check them so that he ensures they are good. Yeah. 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 You also he, he always checks in the evening, mm -hmm. morning when they come out in the evening. Mm -hmm. you, you make sure that you check. We, and we also do, do the same. Oh, you also do the same. Give them food, okay. water. Okay. Yeah, all right. Mm. So let me go to the pond to show them what's happening at the pond. Yeah. Yeah, because Maro is also there. Uh, let's show you another uh, animal Maro keeps. We have the pond. And it's actually great to feature him on this series about the types of animals that he keeps. So the pond. So here they are. The pond. And he's actually checking on them. That will go around. Yes, when, when you are uh, fish, lay eggs on the, you know, fish lay eggs in their mouth. So, behind me, Maro is checking on this pond. And now finishing on this episode of showing you what animal. Strongman 254. Here is Strongman 254. Say hi, we are live on camera. Okay, hi guys. This is strong, Strongman 254. Uh -huh. Yes. 
and we are relaxing here, mm -hmm. waiting to shoot. Oh, oh you are yeah, video. with you. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So uh, let him introduce. Thank you. Yes. Subscribe to Strongman Two Five Four. And actually, your subscribers gave me love yesterday. Okay. They are subscribing. Most actually. of them subscribed. Yeah. yeah, and they say Team Strongman. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And Thank also. Yeah, it's underscore Gin too. Okay. Back again, eh? Back again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, let him introduce himself. Yeah. He'll come to me. So introduce yourself. Peter C7 guy is over here. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, the Chinese, the black Chinese man. Black Chinese man. <laughs> you, you. Yeah, Anoto. Anoto is China. Yeah. And we've been doing a documentary of the types of animals that uh, Marwa keeps. Yeah. So, strong man. Yeah. Which type of animals have you seen here at uh, Marwa Ville? Animals, yes. Uh, I've, se I've seen goats. I've seen goats, uh, sheep, sheep, and I've seen a cow, cow. Yes, and another thing, and human being, human beings. <laughs> so Maro keeps human beings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 how about you? Oh, now you, you told us everything. Now we have yeah. some fish here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is the guy behind the yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah. So yes. you guys, you need, you need to go back. Yeah. So let's keep that. The fish has started coming. Yeah, they are now coming. They have already started. Yeah, they are there. Where? Where? They are here. A little bit. They were just here. Your shot. Due to unconditional circumstances of this. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is the side. You might be. Oh, it's really Because now, yeah, now it's rising. Yes, guys. I think we just cleaned the entire of this. So that has messed up the. Has brought the pollution, man. Yeah, the color of water. So, but you can see water is flowing. It's really flowing. This is actually the main guy. Yeah, hello guys, uh, Shamil people. Yes. So, uh, I'm very thankful to be just on, uh, to just uh, present myself on today's uh, channel. It's underscore Gintu. I'm just a fish farmer. Yeah, on YouTube channel. It's underscore Gintu. I'm a fish farmer and uh, I vlog in terms of fish farming. Hey, have you been to his uh, fish farming? Uh, you should take it. Yeah. Uh, shall do some arrangements? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because he's the main fisherman. No, how do you say fish? Fish farm. Yeah, fish farm. Yeah, yeah, fish farm. Yeah, fish farm. So actually, even me, now I'm using him as an expert on the fish. Like now, he's But he has really done a good job. Yeah. Should we add? Hey, should we add more? Yeah, we are going to add okay. uh, some. Uh, um, uh, we call them the cement bags there. Okay. Compacted with some soil. Okay. So because at the day we were just uh, uh, placing them there, yeah. uh, we were lacking uh, this uh, Le level. Okay. So that's why now we just uh, uh, analyze it that way. So we are just going to top it down. Okay. Yes. Guys, that being said, is uh, actually if you come tomorrow, the water will be very clean. Very clean. And if you come when the sun is up here, you see a lot of fish. They're always here, very many. Very many, actually I posted on. And today, because he was cleaning, they're afraid. You know, they're like, what's going on? They, they went back, they went back to the second fish pond. Yeah, so yeah. They, are, they are here in the second yeah. fish pond, yeah. But this is still that. So whenever, whenever this now water, we just enter to this uh, fish pond here, until the level of this uh, uh, drainage pipe. pipe is full, so they are going to trespass from this second fish pond to the first one. So yeah. did, you, did you open for, for the dirty water or what happened? Yeah, I opened the dirty water to go out, okay. so it's now it's now going to be neutralized now. Okay. Uh, the edge of this clean water is going to neutralize this one, okay. as per tomorrow, it will now be very clean. Very clean. Very clean. How many types of fish do you have? Uh, we have tilapia fish, uh, which tilapia fish uh, is uh, just a, a species, which has two brands of uh, the, the bright black uh, tilapia, and the red blight tilapia, and we have the koi cup here. Yeah, we have actually saw the koi cup. The koi cup. Yeah, we have uh, we have uh, even the gold fish here, and uh, we have uh, the yellow fish and the orange. Yeah. Oh, we have yellow and orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Guys, we are waiting when the water is very clear. 
We will be we will be pointing. That is the point. Uh, uh, we, have point we have even more colorful than uh, uh, we cannot have to say which name they are, yeah. but they have uh, different colors. Color. Yeah. yeah, yellow, red, uh, uh, even they are here. Some are whitish. They are here. Yeah, they are here. And I'm telling you, by tomorrow you'll see. But uh, I yeah. saw uh, the guy from Nuta. Okay. He came here to see which kind of uh, the hardcore we are just uh, talking about. Oh, he came. Yeah, he came and he analyzed and he went. So these are more views of the type of uh, fish. They are trying to explain the types of fish that are kept here. And guys, in the previous episode, we took a very considerable amount of time showing you about this floating beam restaurant. That the no, not floating beam pond. That's the floating beam, floating beam. You can see the water draining from all this place to down here. I don't know what they are doing. Yeah, but uh, plenty of work happening here. Yeah. The water is draining from there, coming down. Um, this place. Yeah, we have Strongman. Strongman and Strongman Junior. Awesome, awesome. Let's see what's happening. So if we arrange here some nice stones, you can actually see straight up to, to the ground yeah. bottom. Yeah. So that means if there is fish, it's not hiding. Yeah. You'll have to see it. Yes. So guys, stay tuned. Tomorrow yes. we're going to see clear fish. Clear fish guys coming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and by, from uh, 26th, we yeah. yeah. we'll see clear fish. Yeah, yeah from 26th. this was a great 26th. idea. Yes. So, are we going to be eating this fish or just for decoration? Uh, some are for ornamentals. Yes, yeah. others can, especially if it's not the red or yeah. other, yeah. it can be eaten. The tilapia ones. Yeah. The tilapia. Yeah. But the aim is not for commercial purposes. Yes. No, it's for the decoration. decoration. But if we have, if they become so big, yeah. for sure we will sell them. Yeah. So that we can sell and get again Another smaller range. ones. Yeah. We continue. Yes. Yeah, it's a koi fish, it's yeah. really expensive. Yes, uh, the only thing I've not uh, asked uh, 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 Mr. Maro is yes, just uh, 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 why was it constructed oh, here? Yes. Maybe you don't have that uh, I'll like, like, now analyze to you uh, more why is it constructed uh, here? Why not uh, uh, the Athen, uh, which is just the Athen, the dark one? Why is it in this area? Please, Mr. Maro, answer that question. So, guys, the idea of uh, this fish pond came about when we wanted to surround the, uh, the house with water as as a security feature, it's purely security. This is part of the house security, it's like a wall. Yeah. Mm. So think right now, if you are o over there, you have to think how to come on this side. Mm. And if you are here, you wanna go that way, you have to think how to go. At the same time, you didn't just want to water around the house. You wanted some water with, with, with you know, with some, with some uh, good, uh, how can I say, like, um, Water with, 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 with some vibe, some you know, some value, creativity, yeah. some value. Not just water, just, uh, oh. Oh, oh. You can talk about the water given shape. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Something water, like that. Yeah, water given shape, yeah. Yes. So even the big aim now, you just analyze is that uh, it's, uh, it's just here for like a barrier. Yeah. Uh, so people cannot protrude from any angle accessing the villa. Yeah. They should follow one pathway yeah. accessing the villa. Yes. So uh, yeah, that's the main aim. And also in future, right there we are working, we will create a, a swimming area. Yeah, swimming now. There we'll put turtle. Yeah, actually, like actually, turtle yes. I think we will we'll end up blocking here yeah. so that we can actually build a huge swimming so, area yeah. and we'll have turtle. Yeah, so you can swim with turtle, only turtle over there. Yeah. So they will, that would be fun because yeah. yeah, I was even planning to go to the army. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, actually, in, uh, in Zanzibar. They have a lot yeah. of swam with and entrance is twenty-five dollars. <laughs> but also the thing about this fish pond is the day I will decide to go commercial with it, I can actually make money. Yeah. Because all you need is to put fish here, buy them fish feed oh, yeah. in six months. Yeah. Bumper you're, harvest. You're, you're good to go. Like even if you put the, the fish massage, can Yeah, but we are afraid that they, yeah. they can they can they can create sickness. Yeah. Like, 
I have seen, I have seen videos where somebody says, uh, yeah, that, that, yeah. that, that, that the, yeah. the fish ate her then she was cut her leg. Yeah, and sometimes, uh, sometimes yeah. I fear them. Yeah, so sometimes you never know. So to avoid that, this we can. Mm. We're gonna number one is our decoration. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you see koi fish here all over, and I want to train them that they can be as many as possible. Mm -hmm. And when they see people, they, they come. come out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that that one goes with the mode of feeding now. Yes, it's the mode of feeding. Yes. They have a, what's called a, a dining a dining table. Whenever you just said that it's just here to be fed from this area, okay. you only throw here some feet from this angle, oh. day to day, day to day. Oh, so so they, they, they are not going to get from the far end yeah. to access that dining table. Oh. They have a dining table. Wow. Yes. It's, it's from the training. training. Yeah, it's from wow. the training. Wow. It's from uh, the small ones. Yeah. Even if we have some tilapia here, they yeah. do adapt into that. Okay. Whenever you throw here some feet, only one uh, at one area. place, which is an area, they, uh, they used to come to that area. Whenever they see anybody passing through here, they, they know out. that person has some feet. Whenever you don't have what you have, they'll just they'll come, come to this point. So that's yeah, why now me, you now I, see I've some... Been, I've been to Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, my phone is charging. I would have showed you this koi fish. Oh. Too many, they were like right there coming and... and yeah, they do like, come. Like, like, like 200. Oh. And it was so beautiful. They so I'm imagining having, having all types of fish here. Like it was one of the biggest. It's yes. just seven months old. Yeah, so whenever they, they are fed well, it's just seven months, then uh, they are very big. But uh, whenever they are just uh, two and a half, three months, uh, yeah, they start uh, now uh, see. production and... Uh, oh, so the, this one's here, they will be produced? Yes, yeah, they do. They, they do. Yeah. So but the, the only thing yeah. is just, they are just here for ornamentals, mm -hmm. but not for just eating, for consumption rate. They are not for the consumption rate. They're just here for the So in this case, uh, when, but these ones that we brought can actually multiply. They are going to multiply. Going to multiply. Yeah. Whenever they just get a, a, a good climate and a good uh, area, yeah. just uh, fed well, yeah. two months, uh, the one we brought, they are just one and a half a month. Yeah. So we have like uh, next month, January, by February we should have uh, some uh, uh, breedings here and oh. we have some uh, smaller uh, fries and uh, fingerlings here. You're saying fries people come for them? No, <laughs> fries? No, we, we will not sell fries, we sell uh, yeah. post fingerlings because as <laughs> we adapt with the climate, yeah. the post fingerlings are best. Guys, I can imagine uh, when when we have a lot of them here, let's say, let's say like 200, yeah. you know what will happen, you know? I can imagine it's that. Beautiful, actually. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and actually, this area, very soon, we will start working on it now, like landscaping. Yeah. Landscaping will not start from outside, it will start from right here. Yeah, and we we'll put is, uh, nice, you know, flowers. Beautiful here, and we put this area. Uh, we, we, we are still working on it. Yes, so we are thinking uh, wow. we are still thinking about that. Okay. We are still thinking about that. I think uh, the, 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 the color the color the couple. Yeah. We're also thinking about about like just pure and yeah. 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 concrete. Concrete. concrete is when it's mixed. Balanced. The other one is ballast. Ballast. Oh, ballast. ballast. Yeah. Or the, the, the or not mixed, yeah? Oh, it's just a ballast. No, yeah. so 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 the idea is, we put ballast here, yeah. but we have places where you can mm -hmm. step mm -hmm. on top natural, of, of, so. of, of uh, no, no, not natural. Mm -hmm. Like you see something like this, mm -hmm. we will build a big one like here, up to there, okay? Yeah. But below it, it is ballast oh. running. Yeah. So you step yeah. on these things, but below this, there is ballast. You step, you step. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got you. Ballast. Yes. That yeah. So that's what cool. we are Yeah. It's going to work. Oh. But again, we are open to ideas. Ah, right now, what is really giving me the solar. Ah, da. So that generator making noise over the world. Every step of this money. Big. Another one. Small. 
Yes, of uh, close to 3,000 dollars. Because Bade takes 11,000 Kenyan shillings, which is around uh, 90 dollars. And actually, every week I have uh, the maintenance guy here. Even today, he just left. And uh, we put also oil. So if you add all these things, for sure, Kenyan shilling, 330,000 a month. But the funny thing is this, for the last two weeks, my supporters have bought me, even this one is not me who bought. People just brought me gasoline, left, right, center. I mean diesel, left, right, center. Yeah. So for the last two weeks. So I used, I spent half. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm in contact with the guys of the you know, they have pushed me to really now think about having solar. And you know that there is electricity in the Abogas town, but as you come this side, it's not there. And it has never been discovered. Like you were saying, it's supposed to be here. Yeah, and that's for just a time. It's okay now because it's really pushing it's it. It's mom. To have us as um, it's Jacinta. You see, like right now I have my own word. Underscore Jacinta 001. I would never buy one. Underscore Jacinta 001. You see, I have this and that one over there. Yeah. Let me yes, the wells. Yeah. And they are very clean. They supply water now you can actually shower from. Let me change the battery. Yes. So also electricity. I need to do that so that I can be self-sustainable. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. So, guys, um, Maro is explaining, sorry guys, that is Strongman Junior, Liam, who was in control of the camera. So, um, Maro is illustrating his plans of this fish pond, maybe soon after it's done. <coughs> and there are so many fish here, they will start uh, the commercial process of actually selling the fish. And uh, as you can see, so much what needs to be done here and uh, we need to show you the fish at least I want to show you the fish that is kept here so that you guys can have uh, a good view of the fish this is uh, Marwa the farmer the types of fish of the types of animals here at uh, Marwa Villa and uh, we just want to show you the fish let me see if I'll see a fish let me see over here. Uh, the fish. Oh, and now this is not clear, so you won't see the fish. You won't see the fish. So let me go there and see if you can see the fish on this other end. Tomorrow we are stopping the fish. Well, the fish are there, but you cannot see them. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, let me finish this episode, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Anoto in China, here with I am Marwa. And uh, guys, subscribe and follow for me for more. Anoto in China at Villa Medellin. Let's have the final close.